Hey, it's rock and roll. <clears throat> Coming at you uh, from the good Largo, Maryland. Upper Marlboro, Maryland. I think after I cross this bridge, I don't know exactly how that works. But, um,. Nevertheless, I'm coming to you from the gorgeous Prince George's. How about that? And um, we're out for a morning joyride. We're not headed anywhere. We don't have, well, I do have an eight o'clock meeting, so it won't be a long joyride. But we're just going to do a quick little ride in the morning, catch some, maybe a sunrise somewhere. I mean, the sun is kind of up, up, but you know, you might be able to catch it coming over something. I don't know. Um, but uh, that's it. Just as a joy ride. And me rapping. Running my mouth. Well, not rapping, rapping. But you know, rapping. And, um, you know, it's early. You might catch a few horses out. This is horse country. Um, but we're going to talk about... Now, let's just talk. I'm going to talk about the YouTube channel and um, what we do here at um, Rocket Rolls. And yes, it is a we. I know it's all, you know, y'all spend a lot of time listening to me run my mouth and everything. But this channel actually is a we. Um, I got a team. Yeah, you didn't know I had a whole team and shit. But, um,. And the team will be reunited very shortly because our lead editor, who's been off lately, Nicholas, gets out of school in about three weeks. <coughs> and Nicholas, who lives in Louisiana, will be up here visiting Maryland for the summer, which he normally does. we got some plans. We're going to do some... Um, college visits this summer we're going to do some camping um, potentially do a little bit of hiking on the Appalachian Trail and maybe a few other trails here or there try to hit a couple of state parks maybe a national forest um, I keep forgetting that the um, Turn signals auto cancel on this bike, but um, yeah, we got got plans. We got plans, big plans, big plans. Hopefully everything goes as planned. Um, as far as schools, we're going to visit. Yeah, well, of course we're going to tour University of Maryland College Park because we always visit University of Maryland College Park because it's my alma mater for one. But we're going to also hit my other alma mater, which is um, GW. Um, Nicholas lives down by Southern, so, you know, he sees that all the time. Um, we're going to probably do a tour of Georgetown. We always do the tour of Georgetown. If y'all don't know the backstory, um, I had an opportunity to attend Georgetown um, for free, actually. My father worked there, and I didn't want to go to school on a campus where my father worked, so... I opted out of that one. But um, I'd like to get down to visit Hampton University, uh, which is where my mom went. But I don't know if we're going to have enough time in the calendar to make that trip. It's kind of in the opposite direction of the other things we have planned. Um, let's see. Maybe we'll visit, do a quick tour of American and Catholic <coughs> universities. Um, we may hit Bowie State and Morgan up. Do 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 do. Yeah, I've gotten used to this bike now. I don't know if I want to go back to the smaller bikes. Um, although I've been, I told y'all, I've been looking at that smart pill in 701. Woohoo! 
that thumper. Um, Got to ease up because you can't see over this over this hill. <clears throat> Never know which is going to come over the ridge. Um, but again, this is just a joy ride. Nice countryside view. Uh, let's see. We're going to dip. Let's dip into a neighborhood. I'll slow it down a bit. It's early. I don't want to wake nobody up. So let's dip into the neighborhood. You're down into second. And ease in. Okay. So we're going to ride through the neighborhood in the early morning. Nice and calm. Not going to wake anybody up. No, those people are up. They're on their way to work, I guess. Well, in kind of sort of way, I'm on my way to work. Um, I did go in the office yesterday and the day before, of course. If, well, I haven't uploaded yesterday's video yet. But um, actually, it's uploading right now as we speak. It's probably just finishing the upload for that matter. So, yeah, right this very minute, which you aren't watching this at this very minute. But yesterday's video is uploading. And... Um, He's out walking. I'm seeing people out jogging. We see people commuting to work in the lovely little neighborhood. And we want to ride through calm and peacefully because we don't want to disturb our neighbors. Oh, they got a graduate. Cool. Nice, lovely neighborhood. How are you doing, people? Hey. So anyway, like I was saying, yeah, they got a video uploading right now, and I'm probably going to chase right behind it with this video and on this morning as well. So it'll look like they both, you know, well, they are, they're both going to go back up, go up at the same time, but um, they're really going to be two days apart. And um, it looks at the moment like I have a light work day. Sometimes those can be a little misleading. You think it's going to be slow. And then you get in to the groove and the phone starts blowing up and the emails start pouring in. And so sometimes the days aren't as light as you think they will be. Do, 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 do. Just riding through the neighborhood, not bothering anybody. Just out for a joy ride getting ready for our work day but you know it, I'm gonna throw this one in this is this is why we ride series a lot of times you know and especially you know here in America motorcycle riding is for the most part a pleasure activity um, we ride for recreation more than not I mean you guys know I commute on the bike a lot but that's just my excuse to ride for all intents and purposes riding our motorcycles is a recreational activity that we like to engage in and you get it in when you can you fit in your rides wherever you can and you know these little morning trip like this is just an opportunity to get out on the bike um, uh, the other thing I was going to talk about, I guess I'll talk about at this moment, you know, I've been really, as if you, if, you know, the five people who watch the channel, you know, um, I've been struggling about the content because I got this big ADV bike and I, have you seen me on dirt? You've probably seen me on dirt once or twice. Um, this bike once, um, the CB500X probably hit dirt three or four times. And honestly, it's just not a lot of dirt here in gorgeous Prince George's. I mean, it's just such a, well, I don't know how to say that, but I mean, it's just a rich county and basically we pave all our roads. So um, from that standpoint, you know, we're on the East Coast, the roads are paved. So there's just not a lot of dirt. So you have this ADV bike, you don't really ride it on the dirt that much. And... You know, then the question comes up, well, well, why would you get a bike that's an ADV if you really don't ride on the dirt? Well, I can tell you, 
you know what? Maybe this is what I'll name this video. The five reasons to buy an ADV in the city. I don't know if I got five. Let's try. Reason number one. Reason number one. The larger front wheel does great when you hit potholes and or speed bumps. And that's serious, real talk. When you ride in the city, you know, it may be paved all the time, but the roads are not always like the best roads. So sometimes, you know, you're gonna hit potholes, you're gonna hit, you know, rough patches in the street. And if you're riding on a small bike, like a little sit with little 17 inch or smaller wheels sometimes those potholes can really you know do some damage to your to your wheels or jolt you or you know wreck you so one of the things i do like about having adv bike an adv, ADV bike is um you know they, they do really well when the road does get rough and you're prepared I mean, you can ride an ADV bike on a smooth road, but you can't ride a little 14-inch wheel scooter or 12-inch wheel scooter on a rough road. I mean, you can, but you shouldn't. You, know, you won't really like it. Let's just say that. So, yeah, reason number one, uh, ADVs do really well on rough urban pavement. Okay, can I get another reason? Was that number five or number one? Was I counting up or down? Crap, I should have started from one. Reason number two. Um, ADV bikes typically have some good height to them. The seat height is, is nice. I think, you know, you get these seats that are 34, 35 inches tall. And, um... 34 35 inches tall you get to sit up high when you're in traffic you can actually see over the um the other cars um of course there's always vans and trucks along the way and um they also give you more of a presence on the road when you're riding in the street which i know i'm and i'm not really big on that um but i know for a lot of people they like to have some presence on the road because um it's hard to see motorcycles and i'm not going to say oh the cagers don't see us because fuck it they don't see us um i don't see us when i, oh, I want to ride up their driveway it was all gravel <laughs> i'll get back to that um so reason number two if reason number one is you you know your your, your front tire your tires are, are better for potholes not just the front the rear too because I'm rolling on the 21 front 18 inch rear, but I'm also sitting on a seat that's like 34 to 35 inches high. And I'm going to say 34 to 35 because your seat height changes depending on how your preload is set. And somebody in the comments can come in there and try to correct me. But look, I've been playing with the preload and my seat goes up and down. So whatever. So reason number one, the tire size. Reason number two, the seat height. Reason number three. Why would you ride an ADV in the city? Well, this one, oh, you know what? I'm not even gonna say that one next. I'm gonna save that because I might need that for number five. Okay, so I need a new number three. Reason number three. Well, most ADVs, not all, but most tend to be parallel twins. Um, you know, they, they do. we do have some, some V twins out there like the Ducati, and um it's a new one what's the new one that just came out oh in the pan america you know there's some v twins out there um definitely there's some some good thumpers out there like the husqvarna 701 the you know the ktm 690 enduro and those bikes are not parallel twins but a lot of the major brand um ADV bikes are parallel twins and parallel twins are really good bikes for um, commuting and for um, mixture of travel they're good you know they're, they're decent on the highway they're decent in the city decent gas mileage really good gas mileage really and um, 
and you get that with an ADV. Um, you get a you get an engine that's going to be solid, reliable, long service intervals, um, really able to handle the stop and go traffic as well as get out on the highway and keep up with the traffic. ADV ADV bikes have they're touring bikes. I mean, they're, literally they're tour, they're tall touring bikes. Let let's just call it what it is. Tall touring bikes do really good on the road. You know, they're riders bikes. As long as you can handle the height, you're probably okay. And you can get them lower, but you know. I already said that one of the things I like about it is the height. So we got the larger tires that do well with the pie holes. We got the higher seat height that helps you get good visibility in traffic. Um, damn it. What was the third one? I just said it. I just, I just said it. I, I just said it. How did I forget it already? And then, you know, the engines. You know, you get a lot of nice parallel twins or V-twins, you know. And, you know, large single cylinders when they are large. I mean, when they, when, when they are singles, they're usually pretty big. So you get a good size engine that really does well for the variety of commuting. I think I want to go this way. Yeah, I think I do. Let's see, can I get my signal on? Because I didn't hit the signal. There it is. Um... Okay, I know my reason number five, so I got to get four. I need a fourth reason. Okay, let's see. Reason number four. Um, I really should script this shit, you know that? But that wouldn't be any fun now, would it? But we're going to open it up on this street right here, because I don't think there's going to be no popo. -po. No, maybe there will. They all live over here. Ah, fuck it. So anyway, um, well, I guess that's still part of number three that you get to actually open up the throttle on an ADV, and you can do three, three-digit speeds if you so choose to. But we're gonna slow down. Speed limit's 45. Um, damn it, I need a fourth reason. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Look, ADV bikes, right? They really. You know, they're, they're, they're often designed really good about carrying luggage. You can do hard cases, you can do soft cases, you can do, you know, like the giant loop bags. You could, you know, you could put tons of storage on an ADV. And just because you're not traveling on those really long trips doesn't mean that you might not have a desire to you know, carry things when you're commuting in the city. I mean, like when I go to work, I'm carrying my laptop back and forth um, every time I go back and forth from work. So I've got, you know, my laptop, a couple of journals. Um, sometimes I've got camera equipment and all of that stuff carries really nicely on an ADV bike. Whereas say if I were trying to push it on a scooter or a sport bike or even a scrambler, it, you know, I wouldn't quite have as much storage. Yeah, yeah, you could have a touring bike or a um, a touring bike or a cruiser and probably have some decent storage. But you know, when you go with the touring bike in, well, I'm not gonna say. Well, you go with the cruiser, you're not gonna get the seat height. So the thing is, this is the catch. When you get the ADV, you get the combination of these things, and you may fit into that little niche. And it's a niche. It's a niche when you talk about the urban ADV rider. Here goes some potholes right there. I didn't feel them. Um, you got the potholes. You got the seat height for the see over the traffic. You got the, um, damn it, I'm going to be out of order. You got the storage, which was number four. And then you got the, number three must not be part of my passion because I keep forgetting it. But, um, crap, I'm not going to forget it again. Oh, and you got the parallel twin engine. So, you know, all of those things kind of come together to be a really nice bike for just scooting around town. Not to mention the fact that, you know, I'm suburban with mine. So you see me riding in the city like yesterday's video, which is just uploaded. And you see me riding around with I me, mean, you could kind of call this countryside, which is this morning's video. And you see me riding around in the suburbs. So and all of that, even on the highway, on the interstate, and all of that could be within a 30 minute period. I can go from country to interstate to city traffic all within one 30 minute video. And ADV bikes are perfect for that. They're excellent with it. Now, 
I didn't know if I was going to come up with five reasons when we started, but I do have a fifth reason. And here is the thing. And if you don't live in the city or you haven't lived in the city, you may not really get this one. But you guys, you know, you know that dirt bikes and I'm talking about the bootleg unlicensed non-dual sport dirt bike riding in the city is a thing. And this is what's weird. This is weird. I've never rode a dirt bike in the city. I've rode dirt bikes in my MSF class. Um, I'm thinking I may have I rode a dirt bike. I rode on the dirt, not in a class, but I've never rode a dirt bike in the city. However, well, this bike and my CB500X, if you kind of count those, but um, but that's the thing. Look, dirt bikes are kind of like hip or cool in the city especially on the east side east of the river now yes i'm one of them people especially when i live there they get on my goddamn nerves they riding on the wrong side of the road they popping wheelies down the street they're creating a whole lot of havoc a whole lot of no noise every blue moon somebody hits somebody or a pedestrian or whatever and someone gets hurt i worry about the about the guys that are out there because a lot of them are rolling around with no helmets that you know there's no such a thing as at gap when you're in that you know, urban dirt bike, you know, click. I don't want to call it a click. Um, culture, culture. Yeah, that bike, that particular bike life culture. So, you know, I get all of that, and I and I and I feel it, and I think it myself as well. However, just like everybody else out there, there is a certain element of hipness, coolness, street cred. I don't call it street cred. But um, there's a certain level of hipness that comes with riding an ADV, a ADV bike in the city. Now, you know, people like to joke about it all the time. And, oh, yeah, you're riding your ADV, ADV bike to the Starbucks. You know, Starbucks is one of my favorite places to go on my ADV bike. And I don't even like coffee. I just go there and get a tea or a hot cocoa or something. But, um, yeah. Yeah. ADV bikes are cool. I like ADV bikes. I might not have as much dirt and gravel to ride on as I would like to. Um, definitely no single track. But <clears throat> do I have to have it? I'm not sure which way I want to go. Um, no. I can buy whatever I want. It's my money. And I wanted an ADV bike and I bought one. And it's a big one. And I like it. It's an 1100. I said something the other day. I was telling somebody. I was like, oh, they were talking about, talking about, um, they were talking about sport bikes. Yeah, 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 400, 600. Yeah, yeah, leader bike, leader bike. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, yeah, I ride an 1100. You ride an 1100? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dude, does it even matter what I ride? But I'm going to go in and fuck with you and tell you I ride an 1100. I mean. I do ride an 1100, but does it really matter? It doesn't matter. Um, I do like having the power, though. I don't like sitting behind these trucks. Um, but the video's over. I basically, I just ran down my five reasons to ride an ADV bike in the city. And I also told you some of the other things we got planned for later on in the, in the summer. So with that, since I'm stuck behind this white truck, rocket rolls over and out. Still behind the white truck. Still behind the white truck. Ah, the white truck is killing me. And I'm behind another white truck. Oh. Stop. What the heck? Did none of that get recorded? You gotta be kidding. I didn't record any of that. Ain't this some crap. I'm not going back around the block yet. Let me play with this first. <laughs>